10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Power telemetry nominal. You are watching the Falcon 9 rocket as it ascends through the atmosphere, carrying the Echo Star 105 SES-11 payload to geostationary transfer orbit after a successful liftoff from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Vehicle supersonic. In about 10 seconds, the rocket is going to be passing through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure that is called Max-Q. Nine Merlin engines currently uh, thrusting produce the thrust of seven foot, sorry, five 747s at full thrust. That's how much power the Falcon 9 is producing right now. And back engine shell started. In about 30 seconds, those nine Merlin engines are going to shut off in events called uh, MECO, which stands for Main Engine Cutoff. Once MECO happens, there'll be two other uh, very quick succession stages happening after that. The first is going to be the stage separation, where the first stage separates from the second stage and comes back towards the drone ship. And then after that, second engine start one, which is when the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage ignites to carry the payload the rest of the way to orbit. Stand by for MECO very soon. We have Eco. Date separation. Okay. You can hear the applause from Mission Control. Uh, it looks like that we had a successful Miko main engine cutoff, successful stage separation, and a successful start of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Uh, for those of you just joining us, on the left-hand side, you can see the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket currently expanding its grid fins, uh, getting ready for its ascent or descent back down through the atmosphere. And on the right-hand side of your screen, you can see the engine nozzle of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. In about 10 seconds, we're going to see the fairing, which is protecting the Echo Star 105 SES-11 payload, uh, deploy from that second stage. There it is. And you just saw a successful deployment of the fairing. Fairing is only needed while in the dense uh, region of the atmosphere to protect it from aerodynamic loads. Now that we're out of the atmosphere, we can jettison it. <laughs> 